Hi, my name is Mickey Lefeva. I'm an artist, an illustrator, a surface pattern designer. I live in South Africa, near Cape Town. Um, how long have I been an artist? I always wanted to be an artist. It's the only thing I really ever wanted to do from when I was a very little child. It's my passion. Um, does an artist need a style? I think all artists will have a style. Anybody who keeps drawing and creating will develop their own style even if they don't want to. And I feel like my own style is quite um, diverse and eclectic. I tend to move from one thing to another. But um, if I try and do something in a style that's not my own, it ends up in my own style anyway. Describing my creative process. Um, I tend to start with a pencil sketch, start with paper, plan things out on paper. I love to draw with pencil. Um, sometimes I just feel like if I could just do that all day, I'd be happy. Anyway, I start with pencil and then I often work with watercolor. I've been experimenting with gouache paint lately. Sometimes I work with photographs that I've taken myself and I, I use them to create digital paintings. Um, I also um, creates a, a lot of elements on paper that are then put together in Photoshop. So I don't tend to do a finished pattern on paper from start. I tend to um, create a whole, a few pages of works and then scan them all and then put them together. Um, my favorite piece of art for my own designs, that's a tough question. That's like asking me to choose a favorite child. Um, and I've got 12 children, so I can't do that either. What am I passionate about besides my work? Um, I, I'm passionate about my family. I do. I have 12 children, or you could say I've got about five children and seven adults now, so they're not all young anymore, and it's, it's not as hectic as it sounds. Though we do buy a lot of groceries. We go through a lot of food in the house. Um, I'm also, I have a passion for perfume. I really, really, really love perfume. It's my hobby, perfume collecting. Um, I'm also, I'm a Christian and I have a passion for my faith and for my God. That's really important in my life. This is my studio space. We converted the attic to create a workspace for me and for my three adult daughters who are also artists and designers. Two of them also work on art space. This is the bed where my two-year-old sleeps every day, right by my desk, which is super handy and the only way I can get stuff done in the afternoons. This is a painting I did of my, when, well, my oldest daughter, who's currently working over here. Say hey. Uh, and then another daughter works over here in this space, and I have another daughter working here. The studio has a little kitchen area at one end, which is really important for coffee. And this doubles as a guest, um, a guest space, and I have somebody staying with me at the moment. And then over here, if I'm ever stuck for inspiration, I'm able to step outside and look at the mountains and the sea, which is just incredible. I'm so grateful to have this space. It's beautiful. What advice would I give to an up-and-coming illustrator? I think create art constantly. Don't stop. Not necessarily every day. Sometimes you have to give yourself a break, but just don't stop. Keep working. Keep creating. Keep putting it out there. I have a rule in my studio, which is post anyway. If you create an artwork and you're not happy with it, post anyway. If I, if I had ever stopped because I thought something of mine wasn't good enough, I don't think I would have ever posted anything. You just have to start somewhere and keep posting. I asked, I asked my adult children, what advice do I normally give them? And they told me, be kind. I tell them to be kind. So draw every day and be kind. Good things will happen. What do I do to relax? Um, I love to have a glass of wine in the evenings, play with my children just be outside in the garden with them sometimes. Um, I, I like to jump on a trampoline. I like to read a good book. I like to draw, even though that's part of my work, I find it relaxing.